The Endicott College Writing Center presents everything you need to know about how to make an outline. So what's the purpose of an outline? Before you start writing your paper, you want to organize your thoughts, ideas, and research, to arrange content in chronological or plausible order, and to ensure that all necessary elements are included in your paper. The overall purpose of an outline is to help you write a higher quality paper and have the process of doing that be both faster and easier. The first step in writing an outline is to ask yourself a few questions. What is the topic that you're writing about? For this example, we will be using the Hunger Games. What type of paper are you writing on your topic? For this example, we will be doing a character analysis of Katniss Everdeen from our broader topic, The Hunger Games. You should then ask yourself, what should this type of paper include? For example, I know a character analysis should include an analysis of the character's personality, motivations, words and actions, changes, conflicts, and relationships. For this, you're going to want to get a blank sheet of paper to just scribble down any research, thoughts, or ideas you may have. Really, there are three main questions that you want to answer. 1. What are some main points that you're going to talk about? 2. What are some examples, facts, sources, etc. that you have to back up these points? And 3. What is your overall arguable claim or thesis for this paper? Your paper should have a lot more content, more research, and more examples. 1. What are some main points that you're going to talk about? In my paper, I'm going to talk about Candace's motivation, which is her compassion for others. I'm going to talk about the changes she goes through, which are very few, her environment changes instead of her. I'm also going to talk about her personality, which is responsible, brave, and introverted. 2. What are some examples, facts, sources, etc. that you have to back up these points? Here I would list specific events and book quotes that illustrate these traits that I've described Katniss as having. The last thing to think about before you start writing your outline is your thesis. For now, just have a basic idea of what your main point is going to be. Mine is, Katniss Everdeen is a truly strong and mature woman whose character never wavers throughout all of the challenges she faces. An outline is broken up into three main parts, the introduction, the body paragraphs, and the conclusion. If you're going for a detailed outline, the first thing to include is the lead. A lead is the first one to three sentences of your paper that catches the reader's attention. Also in your outline's introduction section, you should include brief notes about what background information the reader may need before you introduce your paper. This is not always needed, depending on your topic. Another essential aspect of the introduction is the main idea section. You should aim to have three main ideas that you will be discussing in your paper. And finally, include your thesis. In my character analysis on Katniss, the first part of my outline would look something like this. My lead would say, imagine you were forced to kill people as part of a game, and if you didn't comply, would be killed yourself. It's an interesting sentence that catches the reader's attention right away. The background information that I'm going to give is the book, the author, and a short summary of the story. The main ideas, as discussed before, are Katniss's personality, her changes, and her motivation throughout the story. And my thesis is the same that we came up with in step two. Each main idea will be a body paragraph, and under each main idea, you will list the evidence that supports that idea. In my example, my main idea is that Katniss's motivation is compassion. Three supporting pieces of evidence that I will use are how she stands up for her sister in the story, specific examples of times in the book when she took care of her family, and a quote where she talks about how she doesn't care about all the luxury given to her because that's not what's important in life. The conclusion of your paper should reveal the deeper meaning or reason behind your paper. It should answer the question, so what? Jot down ideas about the so what of your paper. It doesn't have to be perfect or even incomplete sentences. The purpose of this is just to get your ideas out there. I wrote from my conclusion notes, Katniss's story can inspire others to live their lives more lovingly. She is motivated by compassion, unconcerned with material things, and acts selflessly because of this. And with that, good luck with your paper, and may the odds ever be in your favor.